Well, it took longer for the Midwest to feel the effects of the COVID pandemic, but they have undoubtedly been hit hard, becoming some of the fastest growing outbreak states now. And as lock lockdown mandates are being lifted, some people are worrying it's just too soon. So joining us now is Mayor of Des Moines, Iowa, Frank County. Mayor County, thanks for being with us. And I know the governor there relaxing restrictions, but never issued a stay at home order. As we pointed out, a map FEMA put out of the states experiencing an increase in cases include states that are now relaxing social distancing. Is it too soon to open back up? Well, that's a good question. They, they are, uh, we've got 99 counties in the state of Iowa and uh, 22 remain under uh, restrictions. 77, the governor's announced that she's opening up. Generally, the 22 are where the uh, larger urban areas are in our state, and we're still seeing significant uh, rises in, in the spread of, of the coronavirus. That said, when do you think, when do you plan on Des Moines reopening? What's your approach then to loosening these restrictions? Uh, it, that's going to probably be dictated by the medical data. Uh, we saw yesterday, for instance, 185 new uh, test positive, and uh, which brings us to about 1,661. Uh, we'll see what today does, but the uh, expansion over the last week has been very, very significant. And so we're, uh, the health and well-being of our citizens really is the number one piece. Our industry here in, in Des Moines, you know, it's government, it's insurance, it's financial, it's medical, it's legal. Um, a lot of people look at Iowa and say, think it's uh, all agriculture, but uh, it, at least in Des Moines, the capital city, those are the, the industries that are really driving us. Uh, a lot of those people can work from home, so they are. Uh, we're trying to do the best we can to get everybody to certainly maintain social distancing, work from home if you can, uh, only go out if necessary, uh, stay home, stay healthy. That's the order that, that I put down. However, uh, the governor's order um, is the one that, that takes precedence because uh, she has the legal authority. She has dictated that uh, local government does not. So we're, we're putting out an urgent message to our citizens to uh, meet those requirements as best we can. Right, and, and certainly health is your number one goal and the safety of your citizens, but obviously there are big financial impacts to this as well. So as a city, what are you doing? What can you be doing to help those businesses in Des Moines stay afloat? Well, uh, we ha are working with our uh, Chamber of Commerce, uh, with the city, with the county. We're putting together packages to try to support uh, our, our businesses, especially the, the small ones, the, the insurance and, and the government, they continue to go on. Uh, but we, we need to, uh, to do that. The number one thing is we think about it uh, and we think about the health of businesses. We certainly want to support that. But for me, the number one uh, thing is the health and well-being of our citizens. Uh, hopefully the recovery uh, the economy will come but if you don't have your health and you don't have your life it doesn't matter so that's number one we're going to deal with that first and make sure that we have that protected and we see a flattening of the curve on this uh, spread and uh, until we see that uh, i'm going to be hesitant to to want to open everything up well we certainly appreciate your leadership and your time today thank you so much mayor frank county thanks for being with us thank you Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.